Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I wasn't able to upload a video last week and I probably won't be able to upload a video next week as well. I have been really busy packing and preparing for my family vacation trip that's coming up tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow so I decided to pop by and do a short video to say hi and give you an update just in case you're wondering. I'll be heading to the UK with my family for a week and it's a short holiday but for some reason I just couldn't pack and I had so much trouble finding the right outfits and deciding what to pack so and I'm also expecting a Colourpop package soon and I had hoped that it would arrive earlier so that I could film that video instead of this one because that video would be about the new crystal collection and I think some of you guys would be interested in that. Anyway, enough with my rambling. I wanted to talk about nude sticks in this video and they do have a lot of products in their brand, in their range. This is their Magnetic Matte Lip Colour and as their brand name suggests, Nude Sticks is kind of like a no makeup makeup kind of brand so they pride themselves in nude neutral kind of looks and makeup. Nude Sticks is a Canadian brand and I believe it was started by a mother or two sisters or something like that. I'm not too sure on the backstory but these magnetic matte lip colours come in this lip pencil or lipstick pencil kind of form and it contains 2.8 grams of product. It is $24 a piece, but you do get this metal tin case as well with every um, nude sticks purchase you make. And the case itself is quite spacious and holds up to six lip pencils and there is a mirror on the lid of the case. So it's useful if you have a lot of things to carry on the go and you can just place them in this tin and have a mirror to do your touch-ups, so that's nice. And I also forgot to mention that you do get a sharpener in the case along with the lip pencil so that you can sharpen the lip pencil. I know it's quite chubby so there is a special sharpener for it and it comes together with the set. There are a total of 8 different shades in this Magnetic Matte Lip Colour range and I'm currently wearing the shade Burgundy, so it's dark red with a hint of brown and I really like it. So on the website, these are described to last like a tattoo and that they are lightweight like a liquid lipstick and easy to apply like a pencil. A multitasking 3-in-1 lip stain, lip colour and lip liner, all-in-one that is extra long wearing, extra kiss proof, extra transfer proof and extra pigmented for those looking for maximum lip performance and colour intensity in must-have rich nude tones. So the 8 shades are really wearable and they come in the form of nude shades, pinks, browns and reds. So there's nothing extraordinary about the colours but you can definitely wear them for everyday use, for work, for going out and yeah. So as described on their website, these are really creamy to apply and they apply on very pigmented. It's not sheer at all. You just need one swipe to achieve that full pigmentation and coverage. And so the way I like to apply it is to outline my lips first because it is essentially like a lip liner and you can sharpen it to have a sharper tip so that you can line your lips better but eventually it will get a little bit blunt and then it's perfect to fill in the rest of your lips with this chubby blunt end. So yeah, and once the colour has set, it is really transfer proof, kiss proof, smudge proof and waterproof. However, I do not think that the formula likes me very well because it kind of starts to flick off after a while and you can't really see it flicking off right now because it's not extremely dry yet but it will eventually flick off and it doesn't look pretty when it does. So I'm thinking that I need to apply a thinner layer but it's not really easy to control how much you apply when you're putting it on because it's a lip pencil and it doesn't really spread like a liquid lipstick can. So you know with a normal bullet lipstick, you can press your lips together to transfer the colour from your lower lip to your upper lip. But with this, you can't really do that. So that's why it's not really easy to spread um, the product all over your lips in a thin manner. So if you can see, the outline of my lips is actually a little bit darker than the inside of my lips. And I'm thinking that I somehow managed to put on a thin layer on the inside of my lips as compared to the outside. And so the part that is currently flicking off is 
the outside and this top part here which is slightly thick. So I have definitely tested this out for a day and I was at an event and I had thought that because this was so transfer proof and waterproof when I swatched it on my arm that it would last me the entire day without really touching it up but it totally backfired and started flaking off and crumbling off and I had to eventually remove it. So I have with me a few colours but I'm not sure if I want to swatch them all because some of them are still brand new and I can pass them on to someone else who might like it better so I'll just swatch um, this other colour called Boho which I have already opened and tried out. So this is Boho on the lips, it's like a light brown nude shade and it's also really nice and wearable. So I think I did a much better application for this because I managed to go on with a light hand and put on a thin layer and it feels much much more comfortable than the burgundy one. It also doesn't feel as drying. I mean if you put on a thick layer it will feel instantly drying on your lips but so far this feels very very comfortable and it's not flaking off so yeah I think the trick is to use a thin layer. If you're subscribed to Ipsy, you would have received the colour Greystone in one of your Ipsy bags and I think that is a great way to try out this product without having to spend $24 on it straight away. I'm still on the fence about it because I will need to try out how this wears with the thin layer, how it feels in the long run and if it is that bulletproof lipstick that I've been searching for. I'll keep you guys updated in the description box below of any changes in my opinion if there are. But yeah, to summarise everything, this has got full coverage um, pigmentation, it's very creamy to apply, it's easy to apply if like the tip is sharpened, if it's blunt you might have difficulty in outlining your lips and it's not very easy to go on light-handed as well. You really need a lot of control and practice. If you put on a thick layer, it will feel drying but if you put on a thin layer, you will be fine. And for longevity-wise, it is transfer-proof, waterproof and smudge-proof. So that is up to you to make your own judgement because so far for me, they have crumbled off and not really passed my longevity test. So I guess that is my review on these Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Colours. I am quite surprised that they have not received enough attention yet and not many people talk about them or know about them. So you might want to check these out at Sephora or on the Nude Sticks website and maybe you'll like them. So thank you guys for watching my video and tuning in with me. I will see you guys soon in my next video like about two weeks time. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog and take lots of pictures during my trip to share with you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye bye!